Hello sports fans, this is Steven here for JustMyPicks.com and I'm bringing you a very special Thursday night breakdown of the game of the week for week 13. As far as Thursday goes, we have the Packers taking on the Lions. Before I get right into that, we want to get right into uh, making sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe right now so you can get all the updates of all the hottest debate in sports. Now, getting right into the action without any further ado, the Packers coming into this game after losing to the Chicago Bears last week and we're also seeing the Philadelphia Eagles uh get destroyed by the Detroit Lions on last week on Thanksgiving. You're looking overall at two teams uh, that are bitter rivals. You're looking at the NFC North rivalry and how that could have some um, – this game could have long-lasting effects on how this season ends for both these teams. You're looking at the Green Bay Packers and how they struggle. The last four games consistent – Consistently, we've seen Aaron Rod Rodgers struggle Excuse me, with some of the fundamentals of what he does best. In one of the football games that they played in, Aaron Rodgers threw the ball, I think it was 61 times. Uh, the offense is unbalanced for the Green Bay Packers if you look back a couple of weeks. Eddie Lacy has made a return, if you will, uh, rushing for 100 yards per game in the last two games, I think. And you're looking just at how this Lions defense is progressing and how they become better. Overall, you look at that defensive front for the Lions, they're getting sacks, they're getting pressures, they're getting to the quarterback. You're seeing them do some outstanding things that we've seen them do when they had Adamican Sue. Now, the big question is, can this offense that went off big time on the Philadelphia Eagles last week continue that frantic pace at home against the Green Bay Packers? I think that they can. Megatron looks good as far as we've seen him and Matthew Stafford hook up three times over the Thanksgiving holiday for big scores during the touchdown. So, Overall, looking at this football game, you have to look at who wants it more, who's hungrier. And you have to keep in mind that the Minnesota Vikings are continuing their winning way. So they're kind of leaving the pack, if you will. And the Green Bay Packers have fallen basically to where the Lions are. A lot of people to start the season didn't think that the Lions were going to do it. Now you're seeing they're pinning together a couple of wins. They're starting to win against opponents outside of their own NFC North division, and it's starting to add up. So in this football game, it's going to be tough because both these offenses have the uh, literally the the – the firepower to go off. I think that when you're looking at Aaron Rodgers, as good as a quarterback as he, as he is, he has tools. He has the things that it takes to get the job done. The only question is, will his wide receivers make those catches? Will they stop dropping the passes? Will they stop being injured? And then you look at the Lions and saying, okay, well, we've seen them do this before. They've had success and made the playoffs. They've done this a time before. So, Overall, when it comes down to it, I'm looking at who's going to want this game more. Who's going to be more hungry? I think that we're going to see Megatron show out like he did. Not as quite as three-touchdown performance, but I think he's going to have a big game against this Green Bay Packers defense. I think that you can have Clay Matthews. You can have those boys that's playing defense. They're not playing good enough to stop the Detroit Lions. I think it's going to be an outpour of points in this football game. I think that the only difference is... The Detroit Lions will get to Aaron Rodgers a couple more times and the Green Bay Packers can get to Matthew Stafford. I think that they're going to utilize the screen game. I think Abdullah is going to be running the football well for the Detroit Lions, and that's going to be one of the keys to the victory. I think that overall in this football game, Eddie Lacy is not going to show up in this football game. I think he's going to go back to his pedestrian ways, and I'm picking the Detroit Lions to win this football game on Thursday night in front of a whole ruckus crowd in Detroit. So all you Lions fans, all you Packers fans, leave your comments in the comment section below. Also, so check out JustMyPicks.com for all the breaking news, all the hottest updates in sports. And as always, we ask that you share this video in your Facebook group so we can debate with you each and every week. And also, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next week for Week 14. Have a great day.